in this lecture i will share how arrays get combined when we divide two quantity means what is the rule of combination of arrays in division this rule says if i divide quantity a by quantity b to get result z then a relative error in, in the result is equal to relative error in quantity a plus relative error in quantity b means it is the relative errors which get added when we divide two quantities now let us prove this rule for combination of errors when we divide two quantities for proving let us consider the measured values of various quantities measured value of quantity a can be written as a dash equal to its actual value plus minus absolute error in measurement of a similarly we can write b dash equal to b plus minus delta b z dash equal to z plus minus delta z also we can write z is equal to a upon b and measured value of z equal to measured value of a divided by measured value of b let me call these as equation number 1 equation number 2 3 4 and then 5 using these five equations we can prove the rule for combination of errors in division now using equation number 1 2 3 in equation number 5 i can write z plus minus delta z is equal to a plus minus delta a divided by b plus minus delta b and it can be further simplified taking a as common in the numerator i can write 1 plus minus delta a similarly in the denominator taking b as common i can write 1 plus minus delta b upon b it is just a mathematical exercise z plus minus delta z equal to a upon b 1 plus minus delta a upon a into 1 plus minus delta b upon b raised to power minus 1 let me call it equation number 6 now according to binomial theorem One plus x my plus minus x raised to power n is approximately equal to one plus or minus n x. When x is very very less than one, using this binomial theorem in equation number six in this second bracket, because delta b is a very small quantity, when I divide it by b, it becomes still smaller. so we can apply this binomial theorem because this condition is satisfied and in this case is minus 1 so from equation number 6 i can write z plus minus delta z equal to let me again replace a over b by z 1 plus minus delta a upon a 1 plus minus delta b upon b that is n x the previous equation can be written as z plus minus delta z divided by z is equal to 1 plus minus 
delta A upon A and 1 minus plus delta B upon B. Here minus or plus can be written in the reverse order delta Z upon Z equal to 1 plus minus delta E upon E 1 plus minus delta B upon B. It is one and the same thing. Now let us simplify the right hand side. Right hand side becomes 1 plus minus delta A upon A plus minus delta B upon B plus minus delta A upon A multiplied with delta B upon B. Let me call it equation number 7. Next one. In this equation, delta A and delta B are small quantities. When we divide it by A, it becomes still smaller. Delta B or B is still. When we multiply these two results, the answer becomes negligible in comparison to other quantities. So, neglecting in the last term being very small, I will neglect delta A upon A into delta B upon B in comparison to other terms. I can write plus minus delta Z upon Z. I cancelled one from both the sides equal to plus minus delta A upon A plus delta B upon B. Removing this plus minus from both the sides, I can write delta Z upon Z equal to delta A upon A plus delta B upon B. Hence the proof for rule for combination of errors when we divide two quantities. That is a relative error in the result is equal to relative error in the first quantity plus relative error in the second quantity. In order to have more understanding about this rule, let me share an example. Suppose we have a rectangle whose length is L and breadth is B. Suppose we are given the major values of length and breadth as 4 plus minus 0 0.1 and breadth is given to us major value of breadth equal to 2 plus minus 0 0.2. The question is what is the ratio of length to breadth? That is to be found out. Ratio of length to breadth. It is to be found means we have to divide length by breadth L dash upon B dash this is our question from the given values I can write the actual values of length and breadth as 4 breadth actual value 2 absolute error in length as 0 0.1 absolute error in breadth 0 0.2 using this data I can calculate absolute error in the ratio let me call this ratio as R this is to be found out for calculating this ratio R dash is equal to R plus minus delta R R means ratio of actual value of length to actual value of breadth. This is known to us. It is 4, it is 2, answer will be 2. Now our question is what is the value of delta R? How to find this? For this, this purpose, let us consider the rule for combination of division. That rule says that 
relative error in the result is equal to relative error in first quantity plus relative error in the second quantity. So I can write delta R over R is equal to delta is given 0 0.1 upon L is known to us plus 0 0.2 upon 2. After simplifying, I can write delta of R upon R is equal to 0 0.125. After cross multiplying, I can write delta R is equal to 0 0.125 multiplied with R. Putting the value of R, that is 2, 0 0.125 into 2 answer will be 0 0.250. So we have found the value of absolute error in the ratio. So the required answer will come out to be R dash equal to R. This is R. It is 2 plus minus delta R, that is 0 0.250. So this is how we can make use of rule for combination of errors in uh, division of two quantities. That's all. Thank you.